Hey everyone, my name is Zarex, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an OUYA from a completely random state to completely up and running, able to download and play all of the games, or almost all of the games that you used to back when the servers were live. Before I do that, let me tell you about this OUYA that I have. My friend, Sigma N7, recently contacted me and said that he and his brother used to play the OUYA a ton with their father. They had lots of good times with all these different games, and then they got rid of their OUYA, and a few years ago, he lost his father as well. And he got a new OUYA to kind of relive those memories with his brother, but he's terribly scared of bricking it, and he asked if he could send it to me and have me get it set up for him so that he could surprise his brother with the OUYA and have some, some of those good old times again. I happily accepted and he sent it to me. I have not powered it on. I have no idea what current state it's in. I don't know what firmware version it has. But I decided that this would be a great little project to get it up and running for him as well as document the full end-to-end -end process of setting it up for using the Discover Store that we've created as well as uh, unlocking all of the purchase validation bypass system in order to fully unlock all almost all of the games that are on the OUYA, which is over a thousand games. Free to play, super, super fun. And um, to make this a little interesting, I'm adding in a timer here, and I'm going to see if I can do this in under 15 minutes. Again, I have not powered on this OUYA ever before. I have no idea what state it's in. I don't know if I can do it in 15 minutes, but we're just going to try it out and see. So let's begin the clock and... Turn on the OUYA. As reference, I have the OUYA plugged into power, Ethernet, USB micro on my computer, a keyboard, and HDMI. So, let's turn it on. And see if we can get a load screen to start. Okay, I hear it connecting to Windows. That's a good sign. I see a boot logo. Yeah. Wow, that's exciting. The OUYA launcher has stopped. Thankfully, I have a keyboard. We can figure out what's going on there. I need to pair a controller. It thinks that I already have a controller paired. I promise I don't. This is going to be a very short trip if I don't have a way to talk to the OUYA. My controller's not going to pair. Let's just try rebooting it. These are expensive minutes. I don't know if I'm going to make it in 15 minutes. Well, uh, it's going to be tight. That is stuff I don't like to see. I think we're going to go ahead and have to reflash this OUYA completely because that is just not what I want to see. I'm going to head over to a terminal session and I'm going to reboot into the recovery area. While I do that, I'll get ready to sideload my zip file here. So now that it is in the recovery screen, I need to use my keyboard and hit the home key to log into that and say apply update from ADB. And it says go to the device, type in ADB sideload. I have that here. 
and it looks like it is sending successfully so we'll give this a little bit of time hopefully not too much I've only got 11 minutes and 44 seconds left While this is running, I suppose I can talk about some of the good times I've had playing the OUYA over the years. I am an original Kickstarter backer way back in, what is that, 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. Maybe 2011? No, it couldn't be 2011. It's got to be 2012. I thought that the OUYA looked like a lot of fun. I, at the time, did not own any gaming consoles. I just had a regular PC, and that's where all my gaming happened. But I thought that it would be fun to have something that I could put out in the living room area and play with my roommates in college. And So I backed it, and I got a couple controllers with it. I picked up some more controllers after it came out as well. And I used to play a lot, a lot of Bomb Squad, Hidden in Plain Sight, with my roommates. Bomb Squad was especially fun because you have the four controllers that you can use with the OUYA, but then you can also pair four extra controllers using the Android Bomb Squad app. I think it might be iPhone as well. So we'd have these eight player matches, four against four, doing capture the flag or death match or uh, whatever else. So it was a really good time for us to be able to hang out and play. So Let's watch the OUYA apply the update over here. While that's going, I'll keep talking about some of my other fun experiences with the OUYA. After I got married, I moved out, obviously, of my apartment and moved into a different neighborhood. And, oh, this is done. Let's go ahead and do some stuff. So we're going to do a factory reset. And we are sure we want to delete all user data. Wiping. Okay, we'll keep that going. And I got involved with some of the kids in my neighborhood. I'm also going to wipe the cache partition now that we've done a factory reset. And one of the activities that we would do is I'd pull out the OUYA and we'd play either Bomb Squad or Hidden in Plain Sight. So we'd have anywhere from 5 to 10 boys come over and hang out for a little while, play lots of games. And they got pretty darn good at hidden in plain sight. They liked that a lot. They liked getting to shoot each other and try and figure out who's who and what's what. So those are two of my fun experiences playing the way. It's a, it's a good console. It's a lot of fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed it over the years, and I recommend you pick one up if you can find it for cheap. Let's see if we can actually do something with the OUYA here now, though. Okay, step one, pair some stuff. I'm holding down the OUYA button on this controller until the middle two lights begin flashing. Okay, while this is pairing, I can go over to the shell and I can take care of some of the host file changes that need made. So I'll go ahead and get on the ADB shell and I'll verify who I am with the who am I command. I see that it will say that I'm the shell user and I switch up to the super user, run who am I again to make sure that it does properly elevate to the root. That's great. Looks like it did finish, so we are properly paired. Let's go back over to the shell and take care of those next commands. So actually I need to come over here to the mount the system. You see that I already ran ADB shell and SU to become super user, so I'm going to copy the mount command and paste it in here. And that should be mounted just fine now, so I'll go ahead and run the next couple commands that add the addresses into the Etsy host file. So I got that one for devs. Now I got this one for status. And then I'll come back here. Even though this one doesn't matter since I have the latest firmware, I'll just do it anyway for consistency. I add in the firmware update. And if I cat Etsy hosts, I can see all three addresses are in here like expected. That's just perfect. Okay. While that is going, I can head over to my file explorer and copy a couple files onto the OUYA that are needed. This is the OUYA config properties and the SU binary. So I will come over here to my file explorer. Oop, wrong button. 
and I'll go into my internal explorer or internal storage I'm sorry and in here if I paste it okay that's funky uh, that's gonna be my file explorer add-on being weird I'll figure that out anyways uh, we can come back here and I can see that those files are properly installed or copied onto the OUYA, the OUYA configs property and SU, lovely. Now if I come back to the OUYA and do the setup, I can see that it didn't work and that makes sense because when it first turns on it tries to connect to the OUYA servers. I only put in these changes after so I'm rebooting. And that's not going to work. I'm on the ADB shell. I need to get out of the ADB. There we go. Okay. ADB reboot. Here we go. Now, rebooting the OUYA. When it comes back up this time, as I go through the initial setup, it should get me straight on to the connected screen. So let's see if we can get into controller pairing and language setup successfully this time. Okay, it looks like I need to pair this again here, so I'm holding down the OUYA controller button until the two middle lights begin flashing. We'll see what happens here. Gonna wait for it to pair. There it is pairing now. It has connected. Okay, it is now connected. We can just say an existing account. This is from a good friend over here. We're going to type in sigma underscore n7. If I can type, I will do so right. And for the password, I can just put in anything. It doesn't matter. And go sign in. Ta-da! Sigma is connected. Now we need to go ahead and get the next steps done so that he can do all of the games and unlock everything within it. We don't have too much time left, only about 4 minutes and 15 seconds, so let's see if we can get this done real quick for him. Come over here to ADB shell, oops, and we will elevate into the root, verify that I'm root. I'm also going to pull up the ADB shell on a different console window and get into root just in case I need to do something on the other side if I break it. Now that's done, I'm going to come over here and copy this command for mounting the system as a read-write. And now, with the system read-write, I'm going to copy the binary that I have in the SD card over to system slash xbin slash su. I can verify that that's right by looking at system slash xbin slash u. And I see that this is 543,000 bytes as opposed to 12 or 16,000 that the original one is. I also need to change its permissions and, uh, so that it can be read and executed by other people, which is to say the normal shell user. So I'll make that change and we can verify it here that it now has the executable sticky bit set for SU. That part is done. We can come back to the OUYA and we'll come down to make in the tutorials area. We'll install each of these different things. Install, install, install. Now with the, all of those done, we will say let's install and run. So now that I have it, I need to turn on the framework. I can do that with the install button. And I can say yes, SU is cool with it. I do need to reboot. Now we're down to two minutes. Dun dun dun. Getting close to the wire. 
but all we have to do still is activate the plane purchases module and download an app and see if it works so I think we're gonna make it I'm feeling pretty good about that so now we'll come back down to the make menu and we will open up exposed again now we'll come to the modules area you have to use the touchpad and click the checkbox on your controller. Now we need to go and reboot the device again so we can just come to the framework and go down to reboot. Yes please. That should be it. Everything should be done and working now. We should be able to log in, download a game, and see that it is fully unlocked. So we'll try that with one of my favorites, Hidden in Plain Sight, just because I love that game so much. If it's not working, we'll only see two game modes available. We'll see a big Buy Now button. If it is working, then we will see that it actually has the full capabilities and that it has all of the game modes. So we'll come down here and let's go to the four player section. I think that's probably the easiest way to get it. And we'll say, I want that game. Down to the last 10 seconds. Let's hope it installs quickly. Okay, we have the donate button. We've completed it within 15 minutes. Start to finish, this game is fully unlocked. I can now open up all of the different game modes and play them with anyone that I have over at my house. How perfect is that? I can't believe I made it. I thought for sure I wasn't going to make it for a while there, but I guess I'm better at this than I thought.